Let's go. Alright, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Let's watch the intro. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In year 2148, explorers on Mars discover the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization in decades that followed. The mysterious artifacts revealed starting new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. I didn't read all of this, but if you want to go back and read it, you can do that. I'll probably do this myself, because I have no idea what they said. Or what it, what it read. The Arcturus Prime Relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Maybe. God, I'm awesome. This game seems actually way better than I thought. I've been like waiting for like two years to play this. Because I've been like, I don't want to buy all of these games before Relays I know I'll finish it. Because I don't really finish games. <laughs> I finish like 10 games my whole gaming life, probably. Maybe more, but it's like I play so many games. It's just not even funny. And this video is actually instantly after the first video. So it's 2 a.m. or 2 30 ish. Story going into my brain. Hitting the relay in three. His name is two, Joker? One. Huh. Thrusters, check. Navigation. Space key. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. That dude, I want to be that dude. I hate that guy. Pfft. Awesome. I just gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Alright, okay, so the sensitivity seems nice. Oh god, talk no 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 okay, don't shoot him. Is there a way to like we're getting dragged right along with it? Uh Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. 
This feels like a mix between KOTOR and, uh, yeah, basically KOTOR and like an RPG environment. I guess that's like the same. For fuck's sake, how do I open a door? Uh, I don't hate on me because I compared this to another RPG. It's just that this is way different for me. Um, wait, he's a specter? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Hmm. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. Ooh, but There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Hell, this going on? Get down! No com traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Oh, 
All right. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muzzle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight Cold. for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Her eyes are Helping off. survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus Who's gonna see my skill? He'll feed his status off. reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Get him to zoom combat. We are approaching drop point two. Oh, saving content. Um, where are we going? This area, right? This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles in. What the hell are those? Oh, God. I just kill them. I have no idea what they are. Uh, okay, so I can't jump. Uh, okay. Good thing to know. Which means we have to walk around. Or is that just north? I'm just gonna check the map. Oh, alright, so we're going this way. I suppose. Yeah. We're following the arrow, but it's like a different path. And eventually, I hope I'll get some abilities, which makes me awesome. Oh, yeah. oh wow, so it's like this way, and then it was left. What the fuck? I don't understand this map, but alright. Oh. Alright, okay. Oh god, they're burnt to crisps. That's not good. Uh, that's just shotgun, right? Or is it? Oh, it's a sniper. Oh, I have all the weapons, but I'll be most awesome with the pistol. Or is that what I can train in only? Honestly, I have no idea. Oh. You shot him in the dick, you bastards! Um, this is a pistol. You gain a level. When you gain a level, press U to open. Okay. So I can throw. Ooh, let's pick throw. And warp. But more throw and more warp. Got two more points. What? Basic armor shield boost. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, I guess. Good, okay, so uh, quick slots, minus. Uh, I guess the person Q up is that. Can I. Um, how do I. Oh, okay. this somewhere. Wait, I have to scroll to it. Or, yeah, I have no idea. He's dead. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. Sometimes Marines die. 
The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, man. Um. All right, so. Can I use like know how to uh, equipment? Empty. With powers. That's a uh, toggle helmet. I don't want to have my helmet on. Not right now, anyways. Uh, journal codex. Journal. No codex. This is the uh, eh. overheat. Oh, all right. So I don't have. I don't need to carry about ammo. Check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. So I can like press them and then you see this push. Alright, so I can't move them up here. Oh, I can! That way works. And then he's like, bam. I want to see the quick slot, so. Uh, oh, okay. Cheesy. Hey. He's like, oh my god, hello. Oh. He was sacrificed. Not now, Commander. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Hmm. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. It's time for payback. Move out! Let's murder this scum. Uh. Take on. Okay, so. Oh. Awesome. Uh, no shit. Does I want it here? Shit. Oh yeah, I used to target that one. Let me go back and pistol. There we go. Alright, can I save? 
New save, save game. Oh guys, 20 minutes has passed. I got my f shit. Okay, it's gone. So, 20 minutes has passed. This episode has come to an end. I hope I see you in the next episode. We'll see where the beacon is or somewhat as that thing happens. Blah, something, something. Bye!